how can I use my psychic powers? Because I have psychic powers. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I told you. I, I to knew get you were into good. the mind of my customer and really grab their attention and draw them into my world so that I need to buy my product. Yeah. Wow. You know, Alex does have psychic powers. And here's what's really cool is that even if they're not real, here's what Alex knows. Alex knows that he can read your mind. And here's what you're thinking. Today, you were thinking this. You were thinking, and Alex already knows this, but you guys out there, you haven't heard this, but Alex knows specifically that you were thinking this week about like how the way that you make money might change next year, next year, for example, even next month. And it's actually been kind of bugging you, tickling you at the back of your head a little bit. Like you're like, you know, I'm not sure. I mean, you're not so worried like you're, that you're going to make money. You're not concerned about that, but it's like how and where will it come from and how will it come? So in other words, you're not, you haven't been worrying like so much about yourself. It's not so much self-doubt. I mean, yeah, that's there once in a while. Okay. But what's really been there is like, how is it going to be a little bit different? Okay. Now, how do I know that Alex knows that you know that? All right. All right. The reason I know that is because that's human experience. Money is a survival tool. Without it in the 21st century, we die. Okay. Without money, you die. All right. So we must have money to continue on. And when money is threatened, which is almost every single day of our life, we get concerned about it. Just lost About audio. It. Okay, you're back again. Right? Ah, there we go. Sorry, guys. So we want to show people that's that's the first thing. That's one thing. The second thing is, is that Alex is really good at recognizing and you guys is I bet you he knows that you and, and it, this may not be a critical thing, but I'll bet you that I'll bet you've had a challenge with a personal relationship like recently. Like you got pretty mad, like upset within recently all right and it's not like alex told me your name i didn't he didn't tell me your name he did not tell me just how painful this was but he saw in your star chart your astrological sign or however he does it with his psychic powers he saw that you were having a challenge with the personal relationship and then it mattered and it's really bugging you but you got to set it aside because you got to work you got to make money you got to try to live with the person if that's what it is it's not always that by the way with you is it though it's not always the living with the person sometimes it's like somebody who you see often enough and it's just they kind of grate on you a little bit it's challenging for sure and he was telling me that you have that challenge and that's another one. And so how does this happen? It's because this proximity, the closer the two people are in, in, in a physical uh, distance to each other, the closer that we become to somebody, the more likely we are to get upset with them. Okay. So I always use this analogy. Think of yourself. If you live in an apartment complex or a condo, you live here and then somebody lives next to you and then somebody lives next to them. They're over here at this person. You probably don't even know their name. Okay. And you've probably never been upset with them. But this person that lives next door to you here, you probably give some irritating experiences with them. Okay. Why? Because they're closer. However, none of these compare to the person that you live with. Okay. All right. We don't want to kill the person two doors down ever, but the person that you live with, you've pondered it. Okay. You've pondered. It's like, oh, never, Kevin. Just, never. 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 Except for every single person. So. So we all have the personal relationship challenge, right? It's all of us, every single one of us does, okay? Every single one of us. And this again is human experience, proximity of two humans together because we all see reality just a little bit differently. And that's why, by the way, you, well, no, we won't solve the problem. Let's just talk about the psychic powers. So there we go. So number three, um, let me think here. Uh, oh, okay. So, um, so Alex was telling me recently that he, he knows that there's somebody watching this video specifically that's a really big skeptic, okay? A really big, a serious skeptic. You know, like, I don't believe anything that Kevin's going to say, all right? He, and here's the deal. Alex was thinking and messaging this person and telling him, say, you know what? You should be skeptical. You should be, and you should always ask Kevin to give some proof of something because the man talks all the time. How do we actually know that everything that he's saying is correct? So be skeptical, ask. Now, here's the thing. The great thing is, is that all of us are skeptical and in fact, cynical. We're in a different world today. We're not just a little skeptical of what people say. We're like, no, I don't believe that. I'm not even gonna talk about that. That's terrible, okay? So we're cynical and we're skeptical. Everybody, everybody. Just talk to people about the current political situations in the world and the current health situations. That's all you need. 
Every single person you talk to is skeptical about somebody, right? I promise you. And so as you communicate what in sales copy or in a sales presentation, let the person know it's okay for you to be skeptical and a little bit concerned because I'm asking you to make a change and change your insurance company after 30 years with the guy. Look, I respect loyalty a lot. I want that too, but here's the deal. State Farm Insurance, big, great company, they don't offer discounts for great credit scores, okay? So, but we do. And, and if you have a good credit score over 720 or whatever, however they do it in your country, that could, have, and find a reason that they can actually, you can actually pull a piece of business that the person has had for 30 years, okay? And you can actually pull it over here. So if the person meets a criteria and you've got to think about this, what's the common experience of people um, what, what's the common experience? So if you know that you tend to meet with people that have good credit or some specific set of criteria or some good set of things, you can point to those things and they're going to be right almost all the time. People are very skeptical and they should be. And Alex knew that about you. And that's what's really cool. And what will be the response of somebody who, uh, well, Alex is reading my mind. What does that do in a person? It's a, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's almost it, it starts off startling, by the way. You talk about surprise. When, when I, here, here's another one. When I say, like, for, um, if I say, you know, uh, I know that you have had, the, Alex was telling me there's a viewer watching that's been, that's gone through a lot of pain in life. And the, the interesting thing about this was is that they really didn't feel like they deserve it. And, you know, as I think about it, they really probably don't because they've really done nothing wrong to deserve this disaster that happened to them in life. But it happened. I mean, it happened. They did nothing wrong. But Alex knew that it was there. And so the response is, is that it's like, God, I mean, I've, <laughs> when I've literally played this out in role playing with people, they'll, they'll say they'll say in role playing, they'll say things like, how do you know that? And they're, they're like startled. It's like, OK, I got to confess. I'm really not psychic. I might be psychotic, but I'm not psychic. I, I really don't know. The fact is, is that that's human experience. And when you explain to people, no, I'm not really psychic. I really don't know that. But what I do know is that people that are in this position here, like this specific position that I consult with, it's a very consistent group of people. Just like I have a set of clients that I, I consult with very, very closely. Most of them make more money than I do. And I've taught them through the wealth accumulation program, right? So most of them, most of them do everything better than me. Most they can all golf better than me. They can even some of them play baseball better than I do. So it's it's cool to to know that you can be the person that teaches people stuff, or you can be the person who solves problems for people. And by showing these powers, you recognize things in other people that no one else gets. Okay, no one else gets. Nobody else gets that they hurt today, and I'm telling you, they hurt. I used to tell people physical pain, and it's probably your lower back or your left knee. And we were right a remarkable percentage of the time, over 50% of the time, actually. Yeah, true. But I wanted to be, I wanted to be more accurate than that. We all, there's so many of these things, but but these are four basic psychic powers: pain and the rejection or the relationship issue. There's so many, but these four that we talked about just in this webinar today, if you take those and you incorporate those into how you communicate with people, say so you don't have to tell me what is bugging you, but I sense like you hurt, like somewhere in there you sting. And uh, you don't have to go there if you don't want to, but if you want to, or something's bugging you about business, I can't quite put my finger on it, but if it's there and you want, I'm here. Like, what do you got? Yeah, and be you genuine. Know? So don't do it like a robot. I sense you have great pain. Don't do it like that. Robots so are disaster, <laughs> right? This is disastrous.